high. Leadership. Every country needs powerful leadership. They need a good Home Secretary, a good Prime Minister and a useful Cabinet. Party gates one reason why this government failed. Yep, yeah, if Labour have done similar things, that's no good. That's no use. That's no help for them. Right? People can call me a lefty, but I would say a medium. Right? People who migrate from Poland, Ukraine, wherever, have skills at what they were doing before, right? But these nationalities are really hard working for the wages they had. Some of them have less wages than we got here. Obviously that's why they come over. But we got to appreciate and feel complimented that they love our land. They love the countryside, they love the cities. And they are really useful to, to us. So when you hear people were saying we don't want taking we don't want them taking our jobs. Number one, that's racist. Number two, that's ignorant. Number three, you work with them. Yeah. If you have that attitude, then you got a question: Why do you have to say less jobs? It's not them. It's the government. It's you know, a lot of them go on farms picking fruit, doing vegetables and stuff. And so on, and yeah, and not, probably more people will be wanting to flee rest now because of what's happening in Ukraine and the fear of Russia. Now, if you're talking about refugees, they're traumatized from what they've seen at home. They're scared, and they've heard, they've heard and seen terrible things. And why the hate towards them? Why the desperation to kick them out? Obviously ones that commit crimes or ones who do things or say things insulting, we don't want them here. We want ones who can be here, respect our laws, respect our values, and respect what we're about. Then they can, and ones who blend in to society. You see, when they have to, all these different groups, then there's going to be friction. If you blend in, then there's not going to be any friction. Obviously, if you're Muslim, you don't go to pubs, do you? Or you, at least you don't drink alcohol anyway. Um, we should respect that, we should appreciate that. And respect them, appreciate them for the people they are, like any religion or race. So, what I'm just saying is basically, um, Boris was not the Prime Minister to negotiate Brexit. We need someone with a, a, with a brain, with a few more brain cells, a bit more, yeah. Because his Brexit was basically next to a no deal Brexit which we knew he was going to go down anyway for and um, the consequences of that wouldn't be much worse than what we are now the reason why petrol is going up the reason why prices are shooting up is because Brexit wasn't going to happen overnight it was going to take time now it's the effects of it along with Covid but Covid is going to be temporary we're going to see the holes we're going to see the problems and co as COVID eases, and we're gonna. And the thing that annoys me is when people say, "What well, about Norway? Norway are not part of the European Union." You know why? Because Norway have never joined the European Union. It's different when you join a union and when you leave than it is when you're outside the union. Norway have got resources for fishing, and so on, and they've got other ways that suits them. Their own mod, 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 whatever. So yeah, um, great people out there, right? friendly people. Um, but they've got what suits them, and we need to find that what suits us. 
Um, yeah, I was with Mona. Are we Mona? I guess you can say that. But, you know, better that than being a nationalist, loving. Obviously, every government should put their country first. When you governments go on the international stage, they go represent the country first. Before you help other countries, you need to be in a position where you can help your own country. If Boris can't help the poor, and can't help people who need the help, then he's not helping his own country, is he? So, it's got to be said. And, yeah, then why we should be supporting giving everything we can to Ukraine for their cause and Moldova if it comes to that. And Dan White is a bloody fucking good idea that Finland are joining NATO. I think every country that borders Russia should join NATO. Um, I don't think Chechnya, I wish could become an independent state, independent nation, but the rest can pump money in, cut off anything from Russia, get them a good leadership, and then NATO membership. And I think after all this, we should withdraw the Ukrainian borders, meaning adding Belograd to Ukraine. Right, cheers. Thanks for watching. Anyway, I'm out. Bye.